When it comes to the representation of disability, you find one here, one there. The expectation is so, is so heavy on those single roles, we almost need them to be everything and they can't. One of the things that I find quite difficult on TV, and it's probably the most common stereotype, is that we're, we're very inspiring. Especially around the Special Olympics or the Paralympics. We have a drinking competition where every time the commentator says that was inspiring, you take a shot and you're usually drunk by lunchtime. There are a lot of other TV shows where they tend to have one deaf cast member. Uh, they'll do a cameo, for example. But it's a one-and-done type of deal. Master of None. There is uh, one character. I thought she was going to be a regular, but I felt very connected with that character. And there are several deaf individuals represented on the screen, which I think is phenomenal. There is a new TV show on uh, the Sundance Channel called This Close. It was written, produced, etc., etc., by a deaf writer, deaf cast deaf producer. It was picked up. I'm hoping to see that it'll be picked up for a second season. I think we underestimate the power of role models. Just one great, accurate representation can spark a thousand others, a million others. And that's the exciting thing about media. With individuals with disabilities that are represented on the screen, we feel like, oh, yes, finally, like, we matter too. Like, this is, this is us. It becomes a normalizing effect.